Yo, I was debating on making a video about this Andrew Yang media blackout, but <laughs> even if this is a short video, I gotta make it because we gotta spread some awareness about what mainstream media is doing because it's getting absolutely silly. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in pop culture or the YouTube community or in the world in general and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, make sure you follow me on social media at The Rewired Soul over on Instagram and Twitter. All right, so let's get down to it. Let's talk about my man, Andrew Yang, okay? Like, so when the first round of Democratic debates happened, and I've mentioned this before, um, Andrew Yang, in both debates actually, had the least amount of talking time. But in the first debate, not long after, it came out that his mic was getting cut off. All right, and it's like, okay, you know what? Mistakes happen, all right? Maybe there was some kind of technical error, right? But I keep seeing like, it trending on Twitter and other places like this Andrew Yang media blackout. And it's absolutely ridiculous. So if you pay attention to mainstream media, right? Even liberal leaning media, like they do have their biases, all right? And I think all media outlets are going to have those, but you know, the bigger the organization, I feel that it should be a little bit more well-rounded. Like something, um, my, my beautiful girlfriend Tristan and I were talking about the other day is everybody has bias. Like being objective, like it is a difficult situation. Like even scientists, all right, they have to have peer reviewed studies just to check their own biases, all right? So they're gonna happen and I don't have a huge problem with that. Like people reporting on, you know, the debates or the upcoming elections and the candidates, they're gonna have their own biases, they're, all, they're gonna have their own favorites and things like that. But what is happening to Andrew Yang is absolutely silly, all right? So last night on Twitter, Andrew Yang tweets this out. I did the hashtag math, looks like NBC may have miscounted. Like, you guys are seeing this correct. This says 10 candidates, okay? The 10 candidates, and there's only nine on there. And you're just like, oh, oh, come on. Like, like I've worked for many organizations where, you know, we do things, you know, that involve like internet content and you will get ripped just for even having like grammatical errors in things. So like the fact that something goes up on NBC where it says 10 candidates and only shows nine people, like I don't get how that even makes it through because typically at these organizations, it has to go through different people to be put out there. But the next thing that Andrew Yang tweeted was, sometimes honest mistakes happen, but NBC and MSNBC seem to omit me on the regular. Uh, Scott Santons, has a fun compilation. Here are a few examples. In each case, I was pulling at the same level or higher than the last person listed, or I would have been next in line. So as you're seeing right here, this is another one where it's showing nine out of the 10 people. But I think it's also important to realize that Andrew Yang is pulling better than some of the other candidates, right? So here's why I think this is ridiculous. Andrew Yang is exploding on social media. And I don't know if mainstream media is just that out of touch, but I feel like it's actually helping Andrew Yang. And I dig the dude, so it's like, you go boy. But <laughs> but the fact that they're like kind of suppressing him, it's getting him even more attention. We see that happen all the time. What's it called, the, the Barbra Streisand effect, right? <laughs> Where you don't want people to know about something and then it just gets even more exposure. Like. So I don't know what the motives behind it are. Like I try not to be too cynical. Like I don't know if they're purposely trying to, you know, suppress Andrew Yang, but if they are, it is working in the exact opposite way. So as far as just my personal opinions on candidates, I've, I've mentioned this before, like 
my ranking is like Bernie and then Yang. Like that'd be a dope president, vice president, in my opinion. If you wanna let me know your favorite candidates down below, we can. But I plan on doing more videos and following like uh, the, the debates that are coming up. Um, and all of that, like something that I'm always looking out for and I, I urge everybody to do this, is like find the things that really matter to you and listen to people's policies about it, right? Like not everything is going to affect you, but find the ones that do matter to you or even to your community or friends and family. Like my big things are mental health and addiction, right? But the last thing I wanna talk about is something that I am just trying to beat into everybody's head is this, do your own research and be an independent thinker. All right, like I've covered many topics on my channel about YouTubers and commentary channels and drama channels and news channels. Like listen, like don't even take my word for anything. Like feel free to fact check me. We are all fallible human beings, but I think this media blackout of Andrew Yang is a prime example of how you can't always trust what you're seeing. But the thing is, and this is just my opinion, in this fast paced society that we live in now where we're just constantly being bombarded with information, we've, we've turned into headline readers, we just kind of like glance and skim things, like I'm guilty of this too. So please do your own research because these things happen. Like there are many people out there who might not even know that Andrew Yang exists. And then when the debates come up, they're like, oh, all right. But whenever you're hearing stories about people in the news or in the media or on YouTube, like do your own research. Like don't just blindly believe everything that you're here. Don't let other people's opinions give you your opinion. You might agree with somebody, but make sure you're coming to your own conclusion, all right? I've been talking a lot about cancel culture and mob mentality, but like this is part of crowd psychology. When we keep hearing or seeing the same things over and over and over again, it changes the way we view a topic and it might be completely irrational, all right? So be an independent thinker and do your own research, all right? But anyways, if you have any theories about why this Andrew Yang media blackout is happening, let me know down in the comments down below because it just doesn't make sense. Like you got 10, just put 10 up there, baby. All right, but anyways, don't forget, follow me on social media at The Rewired Soul over on Instagram and Twitter. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you like these kind of shorter videos, let me know down in the comments, all right? But I also wanna send a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel in other ways, like buying merch, buying the books I've written, all that kind of stuff. You are all amazing, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.